guys, it's Bettini Gal, and we are here in the Everdream Valley full release. It comes out on Tuesday the 30th, and I got a little bit of a pre-purchase uh, special where I could get the game early. So I wanted to get it out for you guys, and I've decided to go ahead and uh, take a break from the Stardew Valley series we're doing and do this because I really, really look forward to doing this. So we're going to have our nickname be Petunia Gal. And I'm going to go ahead and call it YT for um, the YouTube series just because I'm going to have, well, I already have multiple saves, but I tried to go back and play a save that I had as, with the demo and I couldn't get some of this stuff to work so I think we'll go ahead and start over and let's see I think I want to do something like this that looks cool okay so you just right click to go back to the previous uh, screen so we'll do that and I want to do Longer hair because I don't have long hair in real life because I can't deal. I can't manage long hair So I definitely want to do something different I can't I kind of like that. We'll go with the with the pigtails is what I call them anyways We'll do pink. Uh, let's do pink Because I like that <laughs> and Let's go with nose Not really worried about the nose. I mean you can't tell too much unless you turn um, to the side. I think I'll just do this one. All right. So skin color, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna leave it. Yeah, I think I like that. I'll leave it at that one. Eyebrows, I think I want something. I don't want angry eyebrows. <laughs> Definitely not. And I think I want to somewhat um, skinny. Let's do that. I know the eyebrows are so, you know, if it's natural hair color, at least, the eyebrows are the same color. But uh, they're not, so we're good. <laughs> we're fine. I'm going to do something. I think I like that. I don't think we want any facial markings. Mouth, let's see. Definitely want to smile. Let's do that one. Okay. And that's it. All right. There we go. So, <clears throat> first thing I want to say is let me know if you guys want to hear me read all of the dialogue or if you just want me to kind of, um, you know, have it there but kind of skip through it. Because uh, I know it does, this game is a lot of reading. So, let me know what you guys think. Well, here we are. Already, there's nothing but trees here. Oh, don't exaggerate. Just behind that hill, there's a barn and your grandparents' house. Not to mention, uh, tons of beetles and butterflies. Okay. <laughs> Come on, don't make that face. Anyway, look, here comes Grandma to greet us. Be polite. Hello, dears. Good morning, Mother. Good morning, Grandma. Hmm, what's got you looking so downtrodden, dearie? Aren't you excited for a vacation with your sweet old grandparents? Well, I am, but I was also hoping that Mom and Dad would stay too. We'd hope so too, but in the end, there was just too much for us to do at work. Oh, cheer up, dear. Why, with how many interesting things there are to do on this farm, I guarantee you'll forget your sorrows quicker than you can say molasses. Speaking of things to do... The farm looks a little different than I remember. Oh, you mean the weeds and that broken fence? And the bottles and those old newspapers? <laughs> and what happened to the chicken coop and our treehouse? Well, it hasn't been an easy year. For our farm, that is. Grandpa and I had a great time on an extended stay at the health clinic. That doesn't sound good. Unfortunately, our absence has taken a bit of a toll on the state of the farm. It even looks like someone was having a party while we were away. Well, no matter. All it needs is a little tidying up and some animals. With your help, we'll get over it in no time. Right, honey? 
Mom? Well, I'm not sure. But I am, love. A little outdoor work hasn't hurt anyone yet. Hmm, you might be right. Mom? <laughs> I'm sure you'll have a great time. There are cows and chickens on the farm. Or at least there used to be. And with your help, there will be again. Well, oh, look what time it is. I have to go now because I will be late for work. Goodbye, love. Have fun. Goodbye, Mom. Goodbye, and give our hellos to Tom. Oh, yes, of course. Maybe next time he can come with us. I'm sure he would like it very much. All right, she's off. She's off to leave us alone with our grandparents and uh, this um, interesting-looking farm. <laughs> so I love that the demo is over. Uh, everything is so fresh, including the smells. I better t talk to my grandfather before I start eating some carrots. Okay, so this is telling ab us about the mini-map. So in the lower left corner of the screen is a mini-map. It marks the most important characters and places in the game, such as Grandpa and Grandma. During the game, look out for yellow or orange markers on the mini-map. They indicate that there is a task or dialogue waiting for you at that location. Okay? And then uh, saying that the, the tutorials are in our uh, tab menu. And so we can get to it whenever we forget what our tasks are. And as you can see, as we move, uh, it kind of clears away the clouds. And a lot of this is going to be a repeat if you guys did watch my demo playthrough. So if you did watch that, <laughs> thank you, first of all. And uh, sorry for the repeating stuff. But I wanted to start over just in case stuff didn't work. So, hello. Why the gloomy face? Aren't you enjoying your vacation? I'm glad, but Mom and Dad were supposed to be here too. Well, unfortunately, they could not leave their jobs. But I guarantee you that you'll find enough company here. If you say so, I have a suggestion for you. I heard that the traveling merchant also deals with stray animals. If you'll help me with some of these farm tasks, then I will find him and see if he has taken in any dogs recently. Show that you can take care of those around you, and he may let you take care of one of them. First, try to fix the old chicken coop. For this, you will need a hammer and an axe. All right. So how to use the axe? <clears throat> you can use an axe to chop wood or destroy things. To destroy something such as a fence, use the axe on it. In the same way, prepare to harvest wood. If the wood did not fall out of the tree after you hit it, it means that you will cut it down completely in a while. After three days, the tree will regenerate and you will harvest wood from it again. All right. Finish. I thought I could just right click to do that. All right. Hello, Grandpa. How are you doing? Welcome. Uh, what did one wall say to the other? I'll meet you at the corner. Oh my goodness. That's bad. Okay. So we need to uh, repair the chicken coop. So I'm going to try to do some of this first before I just go around trying to clean things up. But we do want to clean up around the chicken coop. So just hit F. And the good thing about this is it works in a pretty good radius. Um, so you don't have to like turn around to get stuff that's behind you. Um, which is pretty cool. All right, so let's see. So if we put the ax in our hand, we can actually hit E to swing, and that will get rid of these like more dead bushes. It'll also get rid of the other ones uh, with a couple of uh, swings. So if you want to do that, because I definitely want to do want to get all that done. So you can also run faster by holding Shift, and sprinting consumes stamina. Which is, you know, a pretty much a basic thing for all these games. Be careful that its level does not go down to zero. If you use up all the stamina, you won't run fast enough to perform any more uh, tasks. Until it turns from red to normal color. So you guys can see the kind of the bar that goes around there. Which is pretty cool. And I, I do that way too much. I hit shift to run just because, I don't know, I'm used to it, right? Let me go ahead and pick up these random things over here. Okay, so we probably need to get some wood. Let's see. If we hit F, yeah, we need 15 wood. 
So I'm just going to cut down these trees over here. And just hit F to chop. And the good thing about this is in the demo, you had to hit F on all the logs that are falling down to pick them up. And now you don't have to, which is super cool. Because that you, it would be really hard to find it in the grass. And you had to do, you know, you had to do it on each uh, separate log, which was kind of annoying. But now you don't have to, so that's super cool. All right, did we get enough? How many do we have? Let's see. Okay, we can. Awesome. So we got that done. Super cool. All right. Uh, so if we hit J to go to our quest journal, it doesn't have anything because I think since we're done, let me pick up these. It's going to say, nope, you're good. <laughs> all right, where's Grandpa? Oh, he's all the way over here. He tends to come all the way over here for, like, at the beginning of the day, him and Grandma tend to be over here for some reason. But that's okay. Chicken coop fix, Grandpa. Excellent work. I have one more task for you. Find the chickens that lived in the chicken coop. Last night, something got into the farm, scared the chickens, and destroyed their house. They probably hid in the bushes near the farm. A wooden sword will do best with bushes and grass. Also, take these dungarees. They belong to your dad. They are better suited for scrub running. When you find a hen, catch it and bring it back to the chicken coop or just chase it near the coop. Okay. Do you have anything for me? Hi, Grandma. How are you doing, Grandma? Hello, love. All is well. Okay. So, I know uh, one of the chickens is uh, up here towards this area. Oh, not that. Oh, yeah. And let's hit tab and go to our clothes. So, we got this new... Um, well, for the pre-purchase, I got this little suit here, which is super cute. So in lower body, we got the dungarees. I think I'm saying that right. If not, I'm sorry. But I think that's right. So let's see. Oh, this is talking about zones. So sometimes you receive a task. Large orange circles will appear on the mini-map. Their presence means that you only approximately know the location of your goal. The object, person, or place you need to reach may be anywhere inside the zone. Okay. So, let's go over here. Oh, I hear it. I hear the chicken. Where is it? It's over here? Okay. Where's the chicken? Oh, I see. I see the white of the chicken. So, the easiest for me, because <laughs> I have a hard time getting these guys picked up, is to kind of try to chase it back towards the um, farm. Because it is super fast and hard to hit, hard to hit F while you're chasing the chicken. Or at least to me it is. So, if you just chase it, it's kind of like hurting. Hurting the animals. And there's another chicken over here too. So. That's a thing. But let's make sure this chicken gets in first. Okay. That chicken got in. That's cool. So let's get this chicken. Oh. I thought I got it. I thought I hit F on it. But I didn't. So. Just chase it. Oh. So, chasing them to the coop sometimes is the better option. <laughs> sometimes not so much. So, need to go get the other one. And I know it's over here. Oh, here is the apple trees. So, this is the orchard that we'll get into uh, in a little while. So, I know there's... Okay. So, strange stones. Some of these stones are marked with X's. So, that is definitely going to be a thing in a little bit. 
Ah, see, I ha thought I had F again. Uh, usually, at least I get lucky on one of the chickens. But it doesn't seem to be uh, doing that for me this time. So I probably will have some, like, cuts in here to, uh, you know, not make you guys see all the craziness that is me trying to deal with my uh, hands not cooperating. <laughs> But it is a good option that we have that you can just chase them into the area. So here we got chicken collector. Awesome. So now we can sell chickens from the uh, market. To sell an animal, chase it or bring it to the vendor's pen. You'll find information about which animals you can already sell on the merchant's cart. You can unlock the ability to sell other animals by completing more story quests. Okay, so we got that done. Super cool. And that's all cleaned up and ready to go. So let's go ahead. I'm going to get my axe in my hand so I can get some of these down while I'm at it. Talk to Grandpa. So, okay, first strange stone. So, Grandpa, there's a strange stone in the valley with an X painted on it. Another one? Once during one of my hikes in the valley, I came across such a boulder. There appears to be more of them. If you haven't already done so, try digging it out with a spade. Under mine, someone buries some useful stuff. Okay. Uh, oops. All the chickens are in the coop, I think is what it said. Bravo. It looks like we are all ready to take in a dog. I've already talked to the merchant. Run to him and choose your new friend. However, remember that a dog is also a responsibility, and you must take care of it. Of course, Grandpa. All right. Animals... Good work. More and more animals are appearing on the farm. However, you need to know that not all animals are the same. I'm not talking about subtle differences like the number of horns or limbs, but about the serious issue of how often a particular breed of chicken lays an egg and a cow gives milk. All this knowledge can be found in the Animal Atlas. You can check with the seller to see if he has any in stock. Thank you, Grandpa. Okay, so during the demo, this merchant wasn't really available, so this is gonna be pretty cool. I uh, I saw it a little bit. I played I played around a little bit in one of my other saves, but that's when I realized that some things weren't quite working. And hopefully, when it actually is, it comes out, um, which will be tomorrow. Uh, I won't have to like go ahead and do another another start but let's see we'll go ah i was hitting e all right good morning four-legged friend hello sport what brings you to my humble abode grandpa said you are involved in in rescuing stray dogs and that i can take one of them hmm in fact i spoke to you with your grandfather he mentioned that he has a new helper on the farm however he did not mention that you were so young are you sure you can take care of a living creature Remember that a dog is a social animal. He needs a lot of exercise and companionship. I also need company. And I promise to take good care of the dog, as it deserves. You, We have chickens on the farm, and so far it's going quite well with them. Chickens, you say? Well, the dog is a little bigger, but maybe you can actually handle it. Chickens can be very stubborn. Well, you can take care of one of my pupils. Stop by from time to time to tell me how he's doing. Thank you. All right, so these dogs are super cute. So we've got the uh, Old English Sheepdog. We've got the Malamute. We've got a German Shepherd, a Chow Chow, the Greater Swiss Mountain Dog, a Bernese, St. Bernard, got a Newfoundland, an Akita Inu, a Shiba Inu, and back to the Old English Sheepdog. So I think what I'll do... Let's get the uh, Akita Inu. We'll go with that. I kind of wish they had a random name generator. <laughs> but I think we can rename them. So if you guys have any suggestions, definitely leave it down in the comments. Let's do Millie. I don't know why Millie sounds good. <laughs> so uh, there we go. Got a dog. Awesome. So let's see, let's go back to Grandpa 
Um, I'm usually going the wrong way when I leave there, so I, I went the right way this time. I like it. Let's go ahead and find Grandpa. I can't wait to be able to get this place, you know, all repaired and fixed up, ready to go. Super cool. Uh, I'm going to wait on repairing the well, but I will pick up this stuff. Uh, do you have something for us? Oh, hens. The chickens have a home again, Grandma. That's great, love. Now you can put up perches by the coop and collect eggs every day. All you need is some hay, boards, and a visit to the workshop. You can prepare the boards from the wood on the sawhorse behind the barn. Oh, I clicked too much. What? Uh, why don't we have more of them? Let's talk about the orchard. It's an old orchard, dear. It used to be much bigger. There was so much fruit that we had to bring them into town to sell. Unfortunately, most of the trees have died from old age and lack of water. If you want, you can try to restore the orchard to its former glory. I would start by cutting down those old trees. Somewhere in the valley, you are sure to find wild young fruit trees. You can dig them up with a shovel and plant them in the orchard. Okay. So, I know there is a shovel over here that we can pick up. Nope. Okay. And I do want to get these out of the way. Yeah, so the demo was very, like I said, it was like time. It was time. So, you had, I think, four in-game days. But, uh, like, once that was done, you were just, you were done, you know. And it made it very hard to make sure... Uh, to get stuff done that you needed to. I want to pick that up. That you needed to before the, you know, the demo ran out. It was kind of a cool way to have a demo because it, it wasn't just, you know, you have this set amount of things you can do. You could literally do whatever you had time to do, you know, during those four days. Can I? Oh, I bet if I, okay, let's hit I. To get into our inventory. I'm going to drag the shovel up here. And this is new from the demo. This wasn't here before. So I don't know if maybe we can put this over the chickens. I'm not sure what if this uh, is a sign for a certain animal or not. I'm going to try to put it over the chicken coop. See what happens. Although the chicken coop kind of already has its own, you know, thing. So uh, this is the workshop here. So let's go ahead and try, oops, try to get, why can't I do that? Get these out of the way. Don't need these here. Okay. Go ahead and repair that. Super cool. And I need to get some hay and some boards. And I know there's hay in here. So we'll just grab a bunch of this. And I don't know if there's some... I don't think animals go in here. Unless we can might maybe put fences along here. Not sure if that works. But we can try it. So this is the sawhorse. I'll show you guys how to do it here. So if we hit E. We literally follow the green bar. With our mouse. And, and it'll continue to saw. Which is pretty cool. I like it. But we don't need to do too many right now, I don't think. Because these here are also boards that we can use. Oh, I gotta make sure to put my axe in my hand, though. To be able to swing. Alright, so I'm just gonna pick all these up. Just so we have them in our, our inventory if we need them. Nope, don't do that. Mm, I do that all the time. Alright. Alright. So, let's pick this up. And again, try not to press and hold F because you'll uh, you'll take down the fence. <laughs> That's not something we want to do. Alright, let's go see if we can make some chicken coops. Uh, chicken roost. Here, chicken perches. We'll do one, two, three. Alright. So, we'll get these over here. I'm going to pick this up because we don't need it laying out here. So, let's get... Again, we'll hit I. 
And actually, you know what I'll do? I'll try to do is let's hit I to get out of that. Can we put this like over here? Let's, oh wow, that's uh, really goes with the, goes with the ground there, huh? I don't, I don't know. We'll try this. I was thinking if we put the chicken purchase inside, is that a thing we could do? No, we can't. Okay. Just checking. So I'll take that away for now. We'll put the purchase here, uh, put the purchase here. And here. There we go. And I don't really need this. Nope. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. See here, they're coming to get on the purchase. This is super cute. Ah, oh, I messed. So I guess if you get rid of it like that, it doesn't work. That's kind of annoying. It's fine. We've got... can make another one. So, don't accidentally do that with the axe in your hand because you're going to chop it down. All right. So we'll put another perch right there. I keep trying to left click. That doesn't work. <laughs> and then I just want to... Uh, wrong one. I'm going to do that. Okay. There we go. Chickens are nice and happy on their perch. All right. So let's see what we can do now. Um, so we can't... We got to collect eggs. Uh, so that's going to be... I think a couple of days. Not sure. But let's see. Grandpa, the dog keeps running away from me. That's because he doesn't know you well yet. And the farm is full of new sounds and smells. Take the stick and show it to your dog. Then try to throw it and wait for him to come back with it. Repeat this several times until two training indicators light up above the dog. The better trained the dog is, the more useful it will be on the farm. Okay? So playing fetch increases your dog's training level. Take the stick in your hand and wait for the dog to come to you. Hold and release E to throw the stick and wait for the dog to fetch it. Above the dog's head, will you will see an icon with the training level. The second level, the dog will learn to track. On the third, it will help herd animals. Okay. So let's get the stick in our hand. And um, we can just wait for the dog... To come to us, or we could go to... Oh, did I... Did I just throw it? I don't know. Where's the dog? Dog's over this way. So, let's go. There you are. Alright. So we can go ahead and throw the, throw the stick. Have the dog fetch it for us. Awesome. So, pick up throw the stick oh gosh we threw it a long way is that what happens when you hold it <laughs> I don't think I've ever done that before <clears throat> alright go ahead and get that nope throw alright so if you move it'll uh, the dog should come to you after it gets the, the stick See, it has to get the enough level with the, uh, with the training to really get the stick for you, right? Oh, no. That's not what I wanted to do. I mean, I'm fine, but it's not what I wanted to do. Go ahead and do that. Oh, I got a... There we go. Dog training complete. Awesome. So... Let's go ahead and do one more set and it's getting a little it's getting nighttime so I think we're about to just end this one and start fresh next time and let me know what you guys think about the the uh, length of these and if you want to see more you know if you'd rather me edit more or if you want to see 
all of it, let me know. Because uh, I will, I will kind of, you know, cut out the parts where I'm just doing repetitive stuff. Like trying to catch the chickens. Or uh, training the dog. You know, stuff like that. Stuff that you guys have seen, you know. So it looks like the training is good. So I'm not going to worry about that anymore. Go ahead and talk to Grandpa. You are right. The dog doesn't run from me anymore. Perfect. A dog that plays a lot is a happy and obedient dog. Dogs are known for their excellent sense of smell. I once had a dog that could smell apple pie from a neighboring county. On the farm, however, a dog's nose is useful for more than just locating treats. With its help, you can also find lost pets or objects. Some time ago, Grandma's beloved cow, Willow, went missing from the farm. This bell is the only thing of hers left on the farm. Some Take some special treats and give them to your dog to encourage him to track. Then show him the bell to catch the trail and find poor Willow together. Alright, so a trained dog, level 3, can lead you to various objects. To get your dog interested in tracking, first feed him a dog treat. When a question mark appears above his head, take out the tracking object and press track. Then follow the dog to the location of the tracking target. If you remove the target object from your hand, the dog will lose interest. So, let's go over this way. And I'm going to get the, um, the treat in my hand. I'm going to go this way because uh, the, the cow is usually found over here somewhere. <clears throat> so I'm going to wait for that so we can do E for hunt and show the bell. Let's see, where are you going? There's, there's Willow. Awesome. Okay, so the thing is, um, usually I have trouble. I have to, like, track her down. You know, I have to chase her to get her to come. Um, so let's bring her back. And you can go fairly quickly and the animal will follow you. But we'll go ahead. And I don't have a fenced area ready for her for her yet we could maybe put her in here oh such a strange bug okay uh because i can maybe repair these fences so what i think i'm probably gonna do is just do one day at a time yeah i don't have enough wood um so that's what we'll end up doing is probably one day at a time and then um I think that'll be that'll be a good I don't know if it'll be make it like a longer time because I know I've been recording for quite a while but I'll cut it down and try to make it you know try to make it not quite as long but let me know what you guys think of it all right go ahead and get some more wood here and I think, I'm not sure, but I think we can probably replant. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted the hammer. Aw, oh, man. Okay. Well, now I messed up because I got to, I've got to um, find out how to make fences now. <laughs> We've got a lot of stuff to clean up. We'll do it. It'll be cool. So, Willow. Willow is already at the farm. Bravo. I expect nothing less from you. Now, we need to fix her enclosure so she doesn't go on such long walks again. Please take these diagrams. You will build fences and gates using the workshop in front of the barn. Okay. Grandpa, there is beetles in the valley. Beetles, butterflies, dragonflies, and many more other insects. You just have to look around and under your feet. You can also try to catch them in your hand or with a net. I'll tell you in secret that from beetles you can make treats for animals. Sheep, goats, chickens, and even horses will love you if you throw them some insect. Somewhere in the barn there should be an old machine with the help of which you will prepare treats. Okay. 
So what we can do from that, I did get some more wood, so I should have enough. I just don't know if we have enough time before the day runs out. So let's make some fences just in case we need them. I don't, I don't think we need any gates. I think we're good on that. So the enclosures here that are already ready is what, or, you know, mostly ready is what I'm going to use. Uh, we've got the hammer so we can do repairs, but I can also hit I and go to my inventory. We'll click and drag this up. Actually, I will keep that. We have the cow sign there. And I think that's all we needed. So we'll hit I again. And uh, hit three to get our fence. So this kind of, depending on how you're turned, will, you know, be go in the angle that you want it to. So we just need this. Yeah, I don't think we're going to, I think we're, I don't know what happens when we pass out. And you know, in the full version, <laughs> uh, so we'll we'll see. So I don't know if we're gonna make it. All right. Oh, I do need to get this one, and then I can put the cow sign here. Black with a cow. Oh, put it the wrong way. So this is talking about sleeping. Anytime you can go to bed to rest and speed up passage of time to do this, go to the farmhouse and press F on the door. You can also sleep in a tent. Without, when you sleep, time continues to pass. And for example, animals get hungry. So we definitely want to go to bed. But I need to get this. There we go. Like I need to get this the right way around. So we'll put... Um, we'll put her in there tomorrow. But let's go over here and get in bed all right let's hit f on the door hi dear i see that you're getting ready for bed please put these on before you go to bed you'll definitely be more comfortable and you won't bring unwanted company to bed the last thing you need is bothersome bed bugs under the pillow oh i i don't think it lets us put them on first thing so, this is just talking about uh, grandparents that are going to be helping us on the farm. So, grandparents are no longer the youngest, but they still work on the farm. Every morning, they will have for you various things that they have collected during the day. Their quantity and type depends on what you yourself has collected over the past 24 hours. To collect the material, talk to your grandpa. Okay. So that is going to be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. I am definitely looking forward to getting further into the game. Like I said, um, I did play this on the demo. So, oh, so that does have like sheep, goats, pigs. So I am going to go ahead and pick that up. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys will come back for the next one. Let me know what you guys think about this game, if you're going to get it. Like I said, it does come out tomorrow. So if you want to check it out, I will. I have the link down below if you want to. I think you can probably check out the demo there, or you can buy the game. And um, yeah, if you want to buy it today, I think you could probably still get the special pre-release. Uh, I'm not sure, but you can, you can try it. And let me know what you guys think. Uh, we already got eggs. Super cool. All right, I'll pick those up. I'll pick those up tomorrow. So until next time, I will see you then. Hope you have a super blessed night or day wherever you are. And yeah, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.